food chain is a linear network of links in a food web starting from producer organisms and ending at decomposer species or apex predator species or detritivores. A food chain also shows how the organisms are related with each other by the food they eat. You all know that in our surroundings starting from green plants uh, to the animals, the insects, the human beings all are dependent upon each other with, uh, through their food habits and uh, that is the main cause of food chain. The sun is the ultimate source of energy on earth. It provides the energy required for all plant life. The plant utilizes this energy for the process of photosynthesis which is used to synthesize their food. In its green leaf plant makes their own food taking sunlight and water and carbon dioxide. So, sunlight gives energy, means the energy from the sunlight is stored in the form of glucose or starch in the body of green plants. During this biological process, light energy is converted into chemical energy and is passed on through successive levels. The flow of energy from a producer to a consumer and eventually to an apex predator or a detritivores is called the food chain. So, so this like in circulic order the energy stored by the producer will be transformed to the primary consumer primary consumer here I thought this is a green plant and after that grass shoppers grass shoppers uh, due to their food they are fully dependent on the grass the, uh, here it is a primary consumer after that I draw here frog it will be secondary consumer and uh, the energy uh, from the sun first it is uh, through the green plant it is transformed to the primary consumer grass shopper then it is converted into frog after that here it is converted that energy it is converted into territory con uh, consumer means snake because uh, snake eats frog after that that energy again it is converted to final consumer that is uh, these are eagle or vulture and uh, after that it is again when it will die or all the consumers when it, uh, they will die then the fungi or algae or bacteria they are the decomposers they will decompose ecosystem their... is a chain of interaction between organism and their environment ecosystem is divided into two factors abiotic factors and biotic factors abiotic factors means uh, non-living uh, factors and biotic factors means living factors and uh, it is divided into three main parts producers consumers and decomposers producers means who will produce their own food and uh, which traps directly the energy from the sun that is green plants consumer means who will consume the producer as their food and decomposer i am coming last consumer is again divided into three parts that is primary consumers or herbivores, secondary consumers means primary carnivores uh, and tertiary consumers or secondary carnivores means uh, first one is primary or herbivores means uh, who will uh, take or uh, use the producers or green plants as their own food means the uh, animals who eat green plants and uh, secondary uh, consumers or primary carnivores means they will uh, use primary consumers or herbivores as their food and secondary carnivores or tertiary consumer means who will use secondary consumers as their food and after all these factors death the uh, their body will rot and 
from their rotten body the decomposers the decomposers means the algae fungi and bacteria will decompose their body and this is a model of a food chain we can see here that uh, sunlight is trapped by the producer or green plant so the energy from the sun is transferred to the producer or green plant then herbivores will eat the green plant so the energy transformed to the herbivores or giraffe here that is the primary consumer and again the carnivores here the wild animal that is tiger uh, they will eat the herbivores and then the energy will be again transferred to the carnivores again we can see another example of food chain that is the energy is transferred from the sun to the green plant and then from the producer it is transferred to the herbivores that is zebra here and then when the wild animal lion will eat the zebra then the energy will be transferred from the herbivores to the carnivores i hope my explanation about ecosystem and food chain will be clear to all again in my next video i will bring another interesting topics based on science or mathematics chapters till now i am ending my today's video let's meet in my next video bye students and bye parents